What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power we'll Play with CJ. Today, I'm going to focus in on the Pittsburgh Penguins land in Phil Kessel from the Toronto Maple Leafs. In exchange for not a whole lot, um, I'm going to be dead honest with you, Casper Kapanen, Scott Harrington, and a first-round pick. Um, Toronto's going to eat a portion of that contract, and, uh, you know, it, it is what it is in that regard. Um, the Leafs now get Sammy Kapanen's kid and Michael Nylander's kid, so... For all of us hockey fans of the early 2000s, that's going to be an interesting run of it. And uh, in Toronto, you know, I'm really, really excited for this deal. You think about the wingers Crosby's gone through over the years. You go the last legitimate like star potential 40 goal scorer winger he had was was Hosa. Uh, you know, Billy Garen they wouldn't have won the cup without everyone associated with Pittsburgh has come out and said that. You know, Garen was a big reason why both as a mentor um, and as a leader. And in addition, it was playing the ice in the 2009 playoffs. But, you know, again, love didn't last. You know, they, they went through a ton of different guys in that role, and nothing seemed to fit. And, uh, you know, now you land in Castle. It's easy to forget that Crosby and Castle are, I think, six weeks apart age wise. And Castle wasn't eligible for the 2005 draft. They were like neck and neck at one point. I know we're going back 10 years. I, I know. So someone land bass on that. But, you know, Castle was the American Crosby at one point. And,. You know, if you, I'm not Castle's biggest fan, but I think he takes a lot of shit unnecessarily, both um, in Toronto and with the Bruins. I think that you look at the way he's able to uh, to score goals and you know really put on a show offensively. I I, I didn't realize this. So actually, someone commented on a video I did on Castle. The reason he's heavier is because he has to take um, a lot of drugs for his testicular cancer that he had. Uh, so you know you got to call him a fat ass. It really isn't fair. I mean, is he heavier? Than your average six foot NHL player, yeah. But you know, I think with with being on a line with Crosby, you're gonna see some of the best out of him. You know, his career high goals was 37. I think he could sniff 50. You know, and the other thing with Kessel, I don't think I think he got a bad reputation for was that you look at how he's played on the biggest stages, whether it's the Olympics, the World Championships, or um, you know even the playoffs. He's got 21 points in 22 career playoff games. Everyone wants to call him a pussy, but he overcame testicular cancer. He comes up big in big games. Eight points in six games for a debacle of a U.S. Olympic team last year. And you know what? It's, uh, it's every reason to be optimistic he's going to do some great things in Pittsburgh. The salary cap ramifications, even with... It hasn't come in how much uh, Toronto is eating just yet. But, you know, with uh, Kessel, Malkin, Crosby, Latang, and Flower, there's a lot of, uh, of high-end salary in there. But I think he, they'll be able to, uh, you know, find a way to get depth players, uh, you know, to, to come into Pittsburgh. And, you know, I, I thought for sure when Gilmore went to Pittsburgh, you know, they were going to run rough shot over the East that year. They got to a Boston Bruins team that was playing inspired and, you know, went down a fourth straight. And Danny Biles actually talked to me about that once. Kind of interesting conversation. Um, you know, that's... Uh, Kessel's different. You've got a 28-year-old Phil Kessel in his prime. He's one of the fastest skaters in the NHL. He's got an unbelievable wrist shot. And I think him and Crosby are going to make some sweet magic together. Uh, you put Perron on a line with Geno next year. Sitting Kessel on the first line with Kunitz. And, I mean, dare I say, Pittsburgh's right back to being a legitimate Stanley Cup contender after kind of being written off, you know, in the last year, year and a half with, uh, with, uh, you know, their, their postseason struggles. So, again, really, really good move for Pittsburgh. Kind of perplexing for Toronto, but they want it out of the system. They want it out of the salary, excuse me. And, uh, you know, it, it is what it is. So, again, I, I'm really excited as a hockey fan to see what, uh, what Crosby and Castle can work together. So, we'll see what happens. Anyway, that's all I got in support of the Bible play with CJ. Stay tuned for episodes throughout the offseason and beyond. Later, guys.